So let's talk Star Wars news. Well, let's talk Mandalorian. Okay. So we got our first trailer Mm -hmm. for The Mandalorian. And they had the costumes there at D23. Yeah, they did. Lots of cool pictures of those if you like that kind of stuff. Um, The fact that we know it will not be rated R content because it's on Disney Plus makes me a little more curious about how they're going to pull off some of the story elements that they seem to be focusing on in the trailer. And also the trailer just in itself in the first five seconds has decapitated stormtroopers heads on pikes. Those are really just the helmets. Are they? There's stuff hanging out of the helmets. There is. I mean, it doesn't look like guts or anything, but there's like fabric or Maybe something the hanging out of the inside does of the pr- like keep it PG-13 still. I wonder, I'm sure that's or, what it is. Or is this some semantic thing where it's like, well, no movies that were rated R in theaters are going to show up. Well, I mean, Netflix. also, he literally chops a guy in half yeah. at the end of the trailer. So that's why like, I'm not, I'm curious how that's going to work out. That stuff could all be PG-13, though, really in a PG-13 movie really easily. I'm really on. hoping the Mandalorians in canon turn out to be the rednecks and it's like Dog the Bounty Hunter only in Star Wars. I oh, mean, I they are bounty hunters, happen. but red, not why. rednecks so much. That's no. fingers crossed. Fingers crossed for I mean, we've seen Mandalorians rednecks. in the canon universe, so we know. But we haven't really seen them like talk to each other or their culture or anything, so... Okay, so you think there might be some NASCAR races happening <laughs> on Mandalore? Pod racing, duh. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's pod racing. <laughs> <laughs> Only this time it goes in a. Cycle. No, it's going to be like dewback racing or something like that. They won't have anything as cool as pod racers. It is. It is several decades after that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I mean, the trailer was interesting. Um, it was. It didn't. It didn't quite grab me as much as I thought it was going to. It looks beautiful, though. I mean, yeah, you can definitely it tell it's got the budget. It's shot very well. It Tonks looks is a Twilight. It's the same cinematographer as Rogue One, and you can definitely yeah. see that. Mm-hmm. Which was that was a smart move. So. John Favreau, I man, he is so underrated as a director. He makes is smart... he though? Like I feel like everybody thinks he's know, a good maybe, director. Yeah. I mean, he did just, kick off the MCU. I just don't think and people Chef bring... is a great movie. I don't think people bring him up when we talk great directors. I think mm. that's the issue. Well, I think he just nobody's do much. disappointed with his stuff. I just I didn't like Jungle Book or Lion. Well, I haven't seen Lion King, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm just not interested in I like it. Jungle Book. So those movies kind of throw me off. But I feel like in general, he does a good job. I think part of the problem is a lot of the directors we talk about have a very, very distinct style mm-hmm. where you can just and his see is like not a as shot. Distinct. But his right? is like Swingers and Elf and Iron Man and Iron Man 2 Chef. and <laughs> Chef and Jungle Book and Lion King and The Mandalorian. Like That's, it's, it's that's his career, things, man. Right? It's but weird. Like, you know a Christopher Nolan movie. All you need is like the one you know, low note and you're like, oh, it's Christopher Nolan. Yeah. Yeah. And that like grayish blue like tone to everything it's just everything's one of those shades and yeah he doesn't have a lot of call signs as in his style that's definitely true but he is good he's good he makes a good story and i'm hoping great visual decisions and the the one thing well not the one thing one of the things i thought was interesting in the trailer is that you don't ever see the helmet come off no so i'm curious if they're going to pull a dread with it and he's just and they just hired a decent actor for him well, to keep I mean, the helmet on the whole time. Like, I'd be okay with it, honestly. But v for Vendetta brought Hugo Weaving. A lot of people thought he deserved a, an Oscar nomination for that role, and he never shows his face. Yeah, I love that movie. You know, I thought um, he did, for I th- sure. I think it could be... I mean, it's a lot harder to direct through that because you have to emote using your voice and mm-hmm. movements rather than facial expressions. I really doubt they're going to go that route, but, I mean, it would be cool if they did. At least with, like, Dread, you could see the bottom half of his yeah. face, yeah. which helped, even you though he made the same, frown. same, like, frown the whole time. But, uh, yeah, I don't. I thought that was a really interesting choice for the first trailer. You should do a Dread cosplay. I've always wanted to. But the thing I'd is, I, I it. would do the Stallone Dread. No, <laughs> I won't help you with that. that. <laughs> I feel like it'd be easier to make because the, the armor is all like this thick foam stuff. So, so going back, are you guys right, yeah. uh, more or less excited for the show after seeing this trailer? More excited, for sure. I The thing is, guys, like Star Wars is never going to be my bag. I'm, I'm in it because it's a lot of fun, but like I do need to see stuff before I'm super pumped about it. Announcements, little news articles, they don't get me as excited as like marvel does i'm more invested in that but you know seeing this stuff it's it's absolutely gorgeous and uh what the trailer they put together was very compelling same with the rise of skywalker the new trailer for that it it was more compelling and it gets me more invested 
It's about the same for me. I yeah. Mean, I've been looking forward to it. This didn't change that, but it didn't enhance my hype, if that makes any sense. Okay. Um, and maybe that's unfair because, like, it's the premiere show for a, ser- a streaming service that I'm, I already know I'm going to sign up for and watch. So, like, maybe I'm not, like, trying to hype up for it because I just know I'm going to watch it. I don't right. know. I do think it's an interesting fact that we should note is that Star Wars never trended on Twitter, even when the Mandalorian trailer came out or when the D23 highlight reel on Monday came out. Um, Star Wars was Ra- never in the top 10 trending. People wanted Rise of Skywalker news. And the, the, even with the Rise of Skywalker trailer, yeah. it did not hit top it 10 trending. Top 10 However, really... Dark Ray did. Dark Ray did, but like the trailer itself so did people not. people like trolling it. They no. <laughs> Probably memes about it, yeah. basically. And no, a lot of it was cosplayers on my feed. I had a lot of people who were like, well, guess I'm doing this now. Or, hey, I did this three years ago. <laughs> So again, yeah. not the movie itself. Yeah, <laughs> but it's I thought that was interesting because movie. I think pe- it shows that people are kind of treating Star Wars differently after the last movie. Yeah. I mean, it. There were a lot of announcements. I mean, we we got not just the, those two trailers, but we got the official confirmation of the Obi Wan Kenobi show with mm-hmm. Ewan McGregor. We got the return date for Clone Wars, uh, which brings back Ahsoka, which is a pretty big deal. Um, I'm just waiting for live action Ahsoka. That's all I want in my life. Like, You're probably going to be waiting a while. I know, right? I mean, like, she could maybe, show up in Obi-Wan. She could. She came across him multiple times. She was his protege for many years. Like, it's There's no reason why she couldn't. But it's well, not... Well, she's never going to cast her. <laughs> it's not her show. <laughs> no, it, it's not. But, I mean, they, we don't have a title for the Obi-Wan show either. We just know it's, you know, it's him, yeah. but... Why call it anything other than Obi Wan or Kenobi? Like that's what you need to call it. Doesn't need to be anything else. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess it depends how much content's going to be in there. I, I personally think that with Solo's box office being as low as it was, they may take some characters and elements that they wanted for Solo too, and use them in this show. Oh yeah, they Amelia and Clark should totally be one of the villains. That would be I really. Mean, she neat. could. Darth Maul can be doing things not on, not in front of kenobi but around and you can bring back lando and you could even bring in solo as long as he doesn't actually meet you know until maybe the end of the show yeah <laughs> you know um but this the show's supposed to take place between wasn't um, woody harrelson's character alive at the end they could totally do that too he didn't die did he yeah he died he, he died, died. Oh, yeah okay. he definitely died sorry on the train or something wasn't it not on the train i thought he died on the beach or something yeah i don't know yeah it was i don't remember i need to watch it, it again in the it's on netflix stuff. i think yeah it's really good um but anyway yeah you're right i i think there is slightly less hype than there used to be yeah that really the the last jedi is that what the last one was mm-hmm. it it really killed a lot of fans hearts for star Wars. like the guys that were really hardcore about star wars felt really betrayed by that and I think it's kind of showing. It's weird, though, because, like, Marvel's done that to me a couple of times, but it never killed my hype for the next film, right? Like, Civil War and Infinity War, I really didn't care for either of those for the most part, but I always wanted to see the next thing. But I think that's a little different than um, what we're talking about in Star Wars, because you're talking, like, a nine st- nine uh, episode, whatever, yeah. nine movie story focusing on this one line of characters, whereas... Uh, Marvel, you're you have Ant Man, which is totally different than Thor, <laughs> sure, which is totally different sure. than Captain America. You know what I yeah. mean? So you get a totally different change in tone. It's totally different directors and everything else. Well, and the messaging for Star Wars is very weird because they're talking about like this is the end of the Star Wars or the Skywalker saga, and we're gonna move on from those characters. And then they announce the Kenobi show, which takes place during that timeline with some of those characters and the Mandalorian takes place during that timeline with some of those characters. And like, so they're not done with that section of the star. Wars there's universe. Skywalkers in the Mandalorian. There's, there's no Skywalkers, but there's characters that we've seen in the Skywalker. Well, I mean, saga. the universe still exists. But what I, what I mean by that is they're not really moving. Like, it's a large they're galaxy moving on with from a very large Luke, timeline. Leia, and Han. Yeah, they're That's moving on they're, three Right, characters. they're not doing completely original, you know, and that's ideas. that's a little disappointing. Sure. Yeah, I would I like them that. to do something, like, and that's why I'm interested in The Mandalorian, because the connections are minimal. But I, 
I want them to separate. I want them. It's to- also a piece of Star Wars we've not really seen yeah. before. You know, it's all been Jedi and you know yeah. spaceships, pew pew. But and, now it's well, like EU and underground expansion. So. Yeah, now now we're talking like underground, dirty. You know, yeah. bounty hunting, crime there will ridden be some stuff. Cool spaceship stuff that they actually invented a new kind of rig to shoot the ship because it's practical models, which again I love. Um, and so they've got the ship moves. Um, the model ship moves and the camera moves at the same time. And I'm very, and that, that's not, that's not new, but the way it moves is new. And I'm very curious to see how they pull that off. Apparently Favreau was part of designing that. So,